Okay guys, so I got a new uh, reservoir. Unfortunately, this uh, bottle or reservoir doesn't come by itself. It, it comes a, as an assembly. Let me get an old one. Here's the, here's the original one. And uh, as I mentioned before, one of the uh, fittings cracked and instead of trying to repair it, I decided to order a bottle. Um, originally, I thought I was going to be able to order just uh, just a container, just a reservoir without all these pumps and sensors. But uh, they don't sell it without all these bells and whistles. It comes as a whole assembly. They call it a super bottle. And it does look like a super bottle. Uh, first of all, um, I was gonna buy it used off of eBay or somewhere online and the cheapest one I could find at that time was uh, I believe it was like $550 for the cheapest one used one so I, I went to the dealer and uh, uh, checked the price from the dealer and the uh, price from the dealer was uh, $330 something something like that so Obviously, I decided to order a new one. They promised that it would come in about a week, and uh, of course it didn't. Uh, it took about a month to uh, arrive, but um, you know, I'm I'm not I'm not too uh, I'm okay with that. Let's just put it that way. Um, so what am I gonna do with this one? I'm gonna sell it on the eBay for parts, um, or see if someone wants to fix this uh, fitting it's it's it should be it shouldn't be in a hard fix because it's 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 just cracked as i showed earlier i don't know if you can see it or not this thing is moving so it's basically this fitting cracked and there is a there's a half of the tab that is broken which is which is not a big deal at all so anyway i i'm gonna i've got new bottle i'm gonna sell this one and Let's just put the new one on. like that assembling is actually much easier than disassembling sometimes it's the other way around but just like that uh, new bottle is on and uh, everything is plugged in let's add some uh, coolant to it so good okay 
okay just like that I filled up the bottle all the way to the top pretty much all the way to the top um, because I'm pretty sure once I'm gonna fire up the car once the valves are gonna open it will still purge a little bit more air and uh, the level is gonna drop and uh, I would rather overfill the system uh, at this point than rather than uh, underfill so now this is done and let's get to the next stage which is assembling the rest of the front end and what I mean uh, I mean uh, ele electrically uh, sensors and wiring and stuff stuff like that because before I fire the car up I would like to get uh, f electrical part assembled as much as I can so I don't have to deal with the lights on the dash so to speak afterwards okay let's do it impact sensors uh, cheapest on eBay at the time when I checked $65 uh, a piece for used one new ones they are 44 let's say $45 from uh, Tesla Second time I had to order uh, a lock or latchet, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the reason is the metal part of this lock survived in both uh, cases. Uh, but this little sensor that shows whether the latchet is locked or not uh, breaks off. And uh, if anybody want if anybody knows where I can get just a sensor please uh, leave it in the comments below so let's help each other Well guys, this is it for this video. I've got uh, wiring installed, but I found both original wirings, the ones that plug into the new wiring that runs over the radiator support. Both sides are damaged. So basically there's like two or three wires are uh, damaged on each connector, on each plug. I'm gonna repair it in the next video I'll show you how I do uh, wiring repair and uh, and uh, we're gonna be pretty much done with uh, this part of uh, rebuild so if you guys still haven't subscribed to my channel please do so uh, hit that uh, like button if you enjoyed the video uh, if you like to see more videos in the future with the builds like this or other builds uh, I'm gonna be posting all my builds in the future whatever I'm gonna buy uh, I'm, I'm planning to buy uh, an RV uh, there's good there are gonna be a couple of uh, interesting builds so make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that bell uh, notification so you notified every time a new video comes out okay 
I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Thank you.